Hello, this is Pavel and uh, today I have a C++ exercise from the book uh, Starting out with C++ from Control Structures through Objects. This is chapter 4, exercise 3 called Magic Numbers. Now it says the date June 10, 1960 is special because when we write the following, when we write it in the following format, which is the month times the day, we will get the year. In other words, 610 is June 10, to uh, 1960, which is 1960, 6 times 10 equals 60. All right, so that's the format that we are going to enter the date, 6, 10, 60, and 6 times 10 equals 60. Now, it's asked us to write a program that asks the user to enter a month in the numeric form a day and a two-digit year and um, the program should then determine whether a month times the day is equal to the year so it's a basic uh, if statement uh, if so it should display a message saying the date is magic otherwise it should display a mes uh, message saying the date is not magic now obviously this is fairly simple if statement so I'm gonna do it in two different ways. I'm gonna do a switch statement, I mean a if statement, as uh, you would normally do, but I'm also gonna use the ternary operator, which is the kind of little fancy uh, if statement, one line statement. So um, that way, you know, you can show off your skills, uh, I guess a little better if you, uh, you know, wanna impress your teacher or your classmates well, not really impressed, but you know, if if you want to learn something new, other than just, just the basic if statement, stick around, and I'll show you how to do the ternary operator as well. All right, so uh, I'm using Visual Studio. I have this include library uh, that's for the Visual Studio only. If you use something else, that you won't need this library. And what what we will need though is uh, the IO stream because we are going to be getting input from the from the user and I'm going to also do uh, the standard uh, uh, standard library using namespace std all right I guess I'm ready so let's just do we need basically three numbers so I will do integer day, month, and year. And then we will ask the user to enter the day, month, and year. So we will do see out, uh, please enter a day, month, and a year. We'll, we'll do it all in one line um, instead of asking for a separate Please enter a day, then ask please enter a month, then uh, please enter a year. We'll do it all in one line. And uh, on the new line, we will we will capture the the input. Uh, we will do thin uh, day and uh, we will do. Uh, the month and we will do the year as well now it says actually let me just do this uh, enter two digit year that's important now we will, won't be checking the uh, whether the input is correct or not we will assume the user is not a uh, not stupid and, ans and answers the uh, or enters the day month and digit in the correct format so this is a uh, Exercise is simply about the if statement, which is fairly simple. We will do if the we're supposed to get the day and the month. If the multiplication of those two equals the year, then we get the magic number. So if day times the month. Uh, equals uh, the year we get the 
magic magic number magic date so we can uh, see out that's a magic date all right and uh, if it is not simple else statement then we will see out uh, I did this the wrong way we will see out the that is not a magic date and let me not forget there you go and that should be actually all let me just build it and after this we run it a few times to verify that it works uh, we will uh, I'll show you the ternary operator for this thing so if you run it uh, so we enter a day well, let's say ooh, which one was it it was uh, June 6 1060 so 6 and then we enter 10 and 60 and it says that's a magic date because 6 times 10 equals 60 so if we enter something else uh, like 6 11 and 60 then it says that is not a magic date now another way to do it uh, I'll just do it underneath here it's a very simple a uh, little confusing at first but it's not a difficult uh, difficult statement to comprehend basically it's a uh, simplified if statement uh, it can be only two conditions true or false there is no else if it's only if this is the true do this otherwise do something else and the syntax goes like this uh, first you write a condition which is day times the month then you write what you are checking it against so basically you write equals the year and if it does you, uh, syntax calls for a question mark basically you are saying is day times month equal a year that's why the question mark and if it is the first condition will be true then we will write the that's a magic uh, date so I'll just copy paste this over here so this is the true if this is true if day times month equals year then we will output that's a magic date otherwise I have to delete the semicolon because we uh, the statement continues and the otherwise basically an else statement is the uh, in column like that and so that's the false if it is not then we will see out this statement so again is day times month equal a year if it is see out that's a magic date and if it is not which is this which is basically else then see out that's not a magic date so let me build it and uh, run it quickly and both of these uh, solutions should give me the same answer so if I do six for the day uh, or six for the month sorry ten for the day and sixty for the year both times it says that's a magic date both the if statement and the ternary statement so if I run it again and I do something like six and 11 and 60 then it is not in both cases evaluated the same way so two different ways to do these little if statements again ternary operator is only if else there is no else if there's no third possibility either it is true and if it is that's the first condition that you do otherwise do something else that's all so and both of these statements are equivalent they're the same and out, uh, the output is the same as well so that's all for this exercise if you liked it please like the video share it 
commented, and uh, we'll see you at the next video. Happy coding!